Hi there. Um, I wanted to um, tell people uh, about um, the co-op ins pet insurance, uh, which I've just had a really bad experience with, and I just think people should know uh, how they operate um, before before doing it, because I, I, I kind of was quite shocked by what happened. Um, when we got our little dog, Google, um, it's uh, spelled G-O-O-G-O-L, not like the company, um, he was very thin, much thinner than he should have been, uh, but he was the last dog there, and we kind of, um, obviously, when you see a little cute little thing, you don't want to just walk away, so we we decided we were going to buy him. Um, what happened was that, um, you know, he was a little bit underweight, and um, he had some sort of t stomach issues. You know, he had diarrhea, and he had fleas. So we looked after him and cared for him very well, and he got stronger, and he got did, did really, really well, and he... he, he got over all that um, and um, at some point during his uh, oh, but just in terms of the insurance and um, the, 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 he came with uh, one month of insurance but as soon as we got home we started uh, with Churchill insurance uh, so I could be normal you know, properly insured um, and um, so after about uh, probably about six months uh, we noticed that he, uh, he, he after he'd been we had another dog and a sort of a Springer Spaniel English Springer and Google used to play very energetically with, with Bonzo. Um, and um, basically, we kind of, you know, we thought that he, he, he kind of, maybe jumping up and trying to catch the ball or something or doing something, he'd maybe sprained his back leg somehow because he was kind of like walking a bit strangely. Um, so we went to go and see the vet, and the vet wasn't kind of sure what, what exactly it was, but eventually we uh, it was decided that it was actually his back leg. Um, so what's happened uh, subsequently is that um, that was in January we had that we, we had that then um, in uh, beginning of June we got a second dog uh, a, a golden doodle mm -hmm. and um, I, d I decided just because it seemed convenient uh, to shop around for pet insurance because we had we had uh, a Rango insured as well for a month and we, I wanted to just get them both on the same insurance so I did a bit of shopping and I thought well carbs prices were quite good and um, yeah there's a carb store in my in, in Forest Row which is nearby I just thought maybe we could change to carb um, so I, I, I didn't think twice about it in, in, when I was filling in the thing saying pre-existing condition there was no pre-existing condition there was uh, Google who had had uh, a, a bit of a limp in January which was many months before um, and we were pretty sure that that was due to an incident, not to due to any kind of um, genetic or sort of um, inherent problem that he'd had since birth. That actually was the case, but we didn't know that, and the vet didn't know that. We, we just thought that he, he was just limping. Um, so we gave him some Metacam or something, and he was, he was sorted. And m many months later, um, uh, d d d the, the new problems only started after we'd changed to carb. Um, so anyways, I was insured with Churchill at the time, and I thought, well, let's just change. Now we've got two dogs, let's change over to carp. So I um, got them both onto carp, and when it said pre-existing conditions, I, there was no pre-existing condition. Um, and um, when I, you know, then, then some months later, this is in June or something like that, in August, um, Ra uh, Google started limping quite noticeably on his front legs. Um, <clears throat> So I decided to go to the vet. The vet had a look at this. They, they eventually, we did some x-rays, um, which is costly. Um, and that is the reason why I claimed from CARP was to actually get, get money back for the x-rays that we had taken. The vet, unfortunately, told us that he's got something called, um, well, it's FCP, which is, I think it's fibula uh, cardioid process or something like that. His, his bone on his, uh, in his front, uh, on, his, uh, on his forearm kind of things, on his legs. Um, will eventually split um, because there's kind of like this arthritic kind of growth in the joint or at the joint and um, eventually he'll be on so much pain we'll have to put him to sleep and the, the vet said this will happen within two to three years um, so we were very very shocked and upset about that <clears throat> um, and he said there's no point in operating because uh, the, those joints are very flimsy and basically our poor little guy was going to ha you know, have a short life um, Anyway, so I, I, I sent in to claim from um, from the co-op, and um, they have told me now that there's a pre there was a pre-existing condition which I should have reported, and they will not pay the insurance. 
I'm quite disgusted by what the COP have decided for two reasons. Firstly, um, there was no pre-existing condition. He was limping in January, and we didn't know where he was limping from, and there was no mention at all of of a condition that was um, that it was a condition. I mean, as far as I'm concerned, he was playing with Bonzo, ca trying to catch the ball. He must have jumped up in the air and slipped on the floor or something, and he twisted his back leg, uh, and that's what we thought it was. And you know, after a couple of weeks or a week or whatever on Metacam, problem solved. He went off Metacam, and there was no problem. Months later, we no noticed the problem. We were already insured by um, by Carp. So it it, it just seems um, really. Uh, expedient for them to now say that there's a pre-existing condition. Of course there was a pre-existing condition. He was born with this problem, but we didn't know that. So there's, there was no, in, in terms of us being insured with a cop, there was no pre-existing condition. I don't know what other genetic problems he has now. So in, 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 in one year's time, if, if he's got some sort of other genetic problem, are, are cop then going to say, sorry, that kind of condition is something that he was born with, therefore we're not going to cover you. So do carp not cover anything that's genetic or anything that the dog's ever born with, even if you don't know that they've got the disease? I think carp need to actually be clear about that. Because if that's what they're saying, then buyer beware. Do not buy at all from the carp because they do not cover you for anything other than... I don't know, what if, if your dog um, breaks his leg while running or something like that? Because if there's some kind of disease that he's got that's genetic, that would have had, that would have been there when he was born, sorry, not going to cover it. So that's, 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 that's how it comes across to me, and, and it's completely unacceptable. Um, the second thing, which is not related to the car, but probably to the insurance industry for, for pets and, and perhaps for people even, um, is that I was insured... From, from the day Google was born up till now, there was no period of time where I didn't have at least one insurance. There was a period of time where I had, we had Churchill and Carp for a two-week period overlap because I didn't want to risk having no insurance. Um, so how could there be a so-called pre-existing condition when I was, I was insured from birth anyway? I mean, it, it, it just seems... Um, and I wasn't, I wasn't upgrading my insurance. There wasn't any more cover that I was getting on the carp than I had on, on Churchill. It was just uh, convenient to get two different companies, uh, two com the two dogs on the same insurance. Um, so it just, to me, seemed, uh, well, definitely seems like um, carp are being extremely unfair about it. And um, I think they should look into what they actually determine as a pre-existing condition because, in my opinion, this, w this wasn't one. And my wife's opinion, too. We were both there. And... Um, the fact that we didn't know what, this, what, what the cause for his limping was in January does not mean that there was a pre-existing condition. It means he had a limp in January. We gave him some Metacam. It went away. And it was many months later that we got um, the... Um, we took him to the vet again and had x-rays. Um, so, Carp, um, please sort out your policy and refund me my money for the x-ray, please.